Hello friends, today I will show you how to use data grid and ADO DC control in VB6. First open a standard EXE project in your VB6. Uh, I will just resize it, resize my form. And uh, now we have to use data grid and ADO DC controls. As you see, you cannot find it here, so I have to include it using components. Now here, search for ADDC and data grid controls. Uh, data grid, uh, 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 here it is. Data grid 6.0 and ADO DC, uh, ADO data control 6.0. Include that, click on apply and then close. Now drag the both both of the components in the your in your form, and uh, after doing so, just right click and click properties of EDDC. Click on build. Uh, I am using SQL, so I will use Oracle. Oh, uh, here is my server name, compan ID and password uh, click on allow saving password and test connection oops here is something error uh, i have invalid id or password let me check it password again and now test connection oh it is successful now click on ok uh, here is your, our connection string you can just copy it for future references now go to record source tab select ad command text now type here select star from your table name as if you are familiar with sql you know this all these commands it is basic command now click on data grid and go check its properties and you will find there something called as data source uh, i will use character characterize more uh, so it will be easier uh, now uh, just select adc1 as record source and leave everything else as same as it is now i will show you running this code how it looks uh, here is the code and here is my table now I will add some more controls to the project. I will I will use table one and table noon to name for my command button. Uh, use it to one dot record source equal to your command text here select star from i will use my table police and uh, similarly do the same for your second but command button ADC1 dot record source equal to uh, let me write here select star from pay info mm, and you have to add one more line after every click our ADC should be refreshed so write here ADC1 dot refresh so that our data grid also show different tables at every click now we should check our code here is the first table table 1 and table 2 uh, the code is working perfectly fine as you check this is my table and this a c can switch between one or more uh, records and you can see here 
वी हैव फिनिश्ड